many times have you given blood in your life? I'm thinking I'm probably up to 10, maybe. Maybe double digits. Now, have you ever given a platelet donation? You're about to meet a man who's done that hundreds of times. He's Robert Moley of Wilmington, who is with us right now with his award. We're going to explain this in a second. And we also have Kristen Sirio from the Blood Bank of Delaware. Thanks so much for uh, both of you to get here and uh, talk about this. Now, here's what happened. Uh, Robert, you're only one other person has done this in the state of Delaware. Donated platelets 300 times. Correct. That's a lot. Yes. First of all, and maybe Christine, yes. jump in on this first. Sure. What is a platelet donation? Because not a lot of people know about this. Right. Well, your blood is made up of three different components. There's the whole blood, which is the red blood cells, and then platelets and plasma. Platelets is the part that's used a lot of times for people that are maybe suffering from cancer, going through treatments, or someone that has to have particular types of surgery or disorders like portal hypertension. And what that does, it's a sticky kind of substance that helps with um, stopping bleeding and clotting with bleeding that a lot of people that are suffering from various things need. Okay, now Robert, you brought in your award and we had some video we can roll um, while we talk to you about this, uh, where they presented you with this award and it's just really nice. I mean, it's nice and crystal and everything. It says Robert Moley, dedicated donor, 300 platelet donations, the last of which was in 2013. Now, is it something that takes longer than a regular blood donation? It does take a while longer. Uh, it, it, it's about a three-hour commitment to go through a, a total donation. Uh, the, the interview process, getting hooked up to the machine. Is it, is it similar to a blood donation? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a single, single uh, entry needle, you know, into the arm. Uh -huh. And they, you know, they take your blood out and they run it through a centrifugal machine and that's how they, they get the, the platelets out of there. And I've been blessed with really good health and really a, a terrifically high platelet count. And the uh, technology has developed where when I go in, they can actually get a triple or three doses of the platelets for me, where when I started out 20 years ago, it was only a single donation, and it still took about the same amount of time. Okay, so 20 so, years ago, what got you on the platelet kick? <laughs> well, I, you know, it was, I first gave blood back in 1968 when I was in boot camp. Okay. And, you know, the, I, and I don't know if the first time I gave it was a donation or if they just took it from me. But early on, I recognized the importance of the blood supply and, and giving blood, having the Vietnam experience. So I gave whole blood for 20 years, but I wasn't, you know, it wasn't something that I was, you know, I'd give a couple, two or three times a year. And then about 89, I was in there giving blood and I glanced over in the corner and I saw there was a handful of people stretched out on couches with their own individual TV screens. And I said, how do I get over there? <laughs> and that turned out to be the, the platelet. So I ended up uh, getting involved with it back in 1990. And for about the next 10, 11 years, I would go in six, seven, maybe 10 times a year. Uh, in 2002, though, my wife Sharon was diagnosed and had contracted CML, a form of leukemia. And we're looking at her so, right there. So going through the, uh, yeah, thank you. And so going through the process of, of her uh, being treated for this, I saw how important the platelet donations really were. So it was one of those things where, you know, as a puny man, I made a, tried to make a deal with God. So I go, God, get her through this and I will give platelets as often as I can. And at the time you could give up to 24 times a year. So I've done that for years and they've just recently cut back to 20 donations a year. So Now, Christine, I, I imagine you wish there were 5 billion Robert Moleys Absolutely. in the state of Delaware all lined up because uh, platelets, for one thing, given the amount of time, it, it's probably something that you don't see very often people willing to do this. Well, actually, we're very uh, blessed and privileged at the blood bank to have dedicated donors who do come out pretty often. Um, obviously, not as much as Mr. Moley here. We're very grateful to him. But we do have folks that are very committed to it, whether it's something personal that's happened to them in their life that helps keep them motivated, or they just realize the importance of it. And the, you know, the thing about platelets is the shelf life is a lot shorter than whole blood. So within five days of a platelet donation, that has to be transfused into a patient. So we're always in need of platelet donors, and um, we're very lucky to have people that are dedicated to that. And you can give every two weeks. Oh, really? Yes. Whereas a blood donation, you have to wait, what, three months? 56 days. 56 for, days. Yeah, for red blood cells, yes. So you keep track of how many times people donate. Absolutely. Right? Did you have some kind of 
like alarm, like Siri gets up to you with your phone and says, Robert Moley's about to donate his 300th plate. Right. <laughs> well, actually, pretty much. Uh, no, we have uh, really fantastic people in our membership and scheduling department. And so as we have any kind of type of anniversary or milestone donation coming up, they notify us and we make sure that we recognize that the right way. Did you know? I knew I was closing in okay. on it, mm -hmm. but it, it wasn't something, you know, when you start this, you know, 40 years ago, I don't go, well, I'm, I'm going to give until I'm the number, you know, it's just something that you, you do, and then as you get older, you realize, wow, I, this is, this has really been a good thing, and like I said, for the last 10 years, I have been focused on it, and, and, uh, you know, I knew that I was closing in on 300, so, it was fun. Like I said, I haven't, I haven't had to buy a t-shirt in 20 years. You get a t-shirt, <laughs> they give me t-shirts. They all say Blood Bank of Delaware. That's, uh, well, they, yeah, they're advertising something. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, but it's not a bad thing to advertise. Right. You know, I mean, the recovery time with this? Zero. I mean, it's, you know, it's... They do the same thing with cookies and juice. Yeah, well, you know what? I, it, it, it's so little, you don't even have to say, you can actually bypass that. The whole blood donors are required to stay there for 15 minutes to make sure they don't pass out. But basically what they do, they're giving me all my blood back after the platelets so I'm good to go you know once they bandage me up and I'm you know I can leave so uh -huh. it's interesting because although it's a more involved process it's an automated process when you donate platelets so as he mentioned you know they take the blood out they separate it into the three components and the only thing we keep is the platelets and everything goes back into the donor so they almost feel as if they haven't lost anything and we also give a saline solution that replaces the platelets so they feel a lot of times feel, leave feeling really refreshed and rested and you know they get to watch a movie and take a little break while they're sitting there and so they're not like you mentioned not required to sit there for the 15 minutes to make sure they don't have some sort of reaction but they are welcome to cookies and juice mm. of well, I, think, I, do I do take a cookie for the road yeah. I'll, I'll confess so how, how do you get people over this the whole thing with needles with regular right. blood donations you know we it really is difficult for people a lot of times you know if that's something they fear but we tell them if you try it once you realize it really is only a tiny little pinch and think about the people that are receiving on the receiving end of this. There are, you know, people like five, there's a little boy, he's five years old named Gage that receives platelet transfusions regularly. Think about how many times he has to get stuck with a needle and what he has to go through as a little boy, you know, and really try and get people to see it as greater than just that one pinch. You're and, ending the pain and suffering of, of someone else and mm -hmm. you experiencing a little pain and suffering goes a long way. Absolutely. It, you know, all of the blood, all of the platelets and blood products that we collect here at the Blood Bank of Delmarva goes to all the local hospitals on Delmarva. So all 16 hospitals are supplied by the Blood Bank of Delmarva so people know that they're saving local lives when they donate with us. Robert Moley, congratulations. This is going on the mantle. Very mm -hmm. good. Thank you so much. And Christine Sierra from the Blood Bank of Delmarva, thank you as well. Thank you. I'm Matt O'Donnell. It's Delaware Perspectives. See you later.